awfully weird. <laughs> um, who wants to start us off? Andrew, you want to start, or Brian, or whoever? I'll start if okay, ahead, that's Brian. okay. Yep, that's fine. Hey, Sasha, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Kind of a weird off season. Uh, how did? How have you kind of? Has everybody kind of adapted to? You know everything changing so much and all of the, the inconveniences of uh, college basketball nowadays? I mean, yeah, it's very different. I think um, you got to be really uh, responsible in, in this certain time that, you know, we just got to come in, make sure we're doing our extra work whenever we can and get in the gym whenever we can. But it's be definitely been different, you know, not as many reps as we have wanted to get. But, um, you know, it's like that for everybody. So we just got to come in every single day and just do what we got to do. Just um... – seems like a situation where, you know, you guys didn't even know when you were starting practice here a couple of days ago. You don't know who you're playing necessarily in a month. Kind of have to – I think the term Eric used was you have to always be ready. Is that is that a kind of valuable way to kind of go about things? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you said, you just um, – it's just unknown. I think you don't really know whether, you know, games are going to be scheduled, uh, you know, on time or – Games may get canceled, this or that. Um, so just constantly uh, preparing like they are going to happen and, you know, uh, we're going to have a full-blown season and everything like that is something that we got to do, and uh, we've been doing it uh, well. Last thing for me, can you just kind of tell me about your expectations for this team offensively and how you guys expect to be better, how you expect to be different, you know, whatever it may be? Yeah, Co Coach Bain's saying uh, we need to shoot the ball uh, and shoot it well. <laughs> but yeah um yeah you know just being more efficient offensively I think we were uh last year we didn't you know like like I said we didn't shoot it very well and you know making sure we we feed our big guys when they're open and I'm um, just getting good quality shots every single time down the floor thank you thank you sir yep all right anyone else got anything for Sasha I do. Yep. Go ahead, Mike. Mike Carmen Lafayette, Journal and Courier. Hi, Sasha. Hi. How are you? Good. A um, lot of lot of folks in the backcourt this year. Can you kind of speak to the competition that's going on back there and what that was, what that's been like during your workouts, and then obviously as you get into more organized practices. But how how's that how's that playing out, or not playing out per se, but just how, what is that competition like right now? Oh, it's really good. You know, it's good to have guys that are going to push you every single day and we're going to compete. Um, there's a lot of guys for a lot of, you know, not too many spots, I guess, um, not too many uh, minutes. So um, it's really good, really good to keep pushing each other and uh, making sure we're getting better every day. Um, and we've done a good job of that. We need to do better going forward. What, uh, what have you seen out of the freshmen since they've arrived on campus and have been involved in those workouts? Uh, they're really competitive. Um, you know, they, they, I think Eric said, you know, they, they really, uh, you know, want to get after right away, want to have a lot of success, but um, they're really, they're doing a good job of learning, um, you know, playing hard every single day and um, trying to just absorb as much information as they can um, from the coaches, from us older guys and whatever we could do to help. Brian was asking about, you know, the last, six, seven months and all that kind of stuff. But with no seniors on the team and the uncertainty sometimes from day to day, leadership, how much of a role are you taking in that and just to keep kind of people moving slowly in the right direction? Yeah, I think we always talk about it. Just, you know, as older guys, we kind of know what's going on. We've been in the program for a while. So um, you know, whatever we could do to kind of, help steer the young guys in the right direction because we know, you know, we know the plays, we know the system, we know a lot of the things that we do. Um, so just making sure that we help them in that and be vocal and, you know, try to make sure that they get everything rolling on a, on a good start. Where have uh, the progress that Travion's made? What would, what areas would you think, what, what areas do you think that he's made some strides in since last season? I mean, obviously, you could tell right away. I mean, his body, he's really improved it. He's, um, you know, he's slimmed down every single day and, you know, just really starting to fill out his figure. And, you know, he, he looks really good right now. Um, 
obviously the inside scoring, he's always got that. He's been, uh, you know, obviously a great passer. He's working on his jump shot a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, he's just uh, improving all around, really becoming uh, more vocal and, you know, better defensively. So he's going to be a really good player. How truly big is Zach in the middle and how difficult is it to get around him if you can? He's he's very, very big. Like if you uh, – I think he might be as big as Isaac or if not around the same. So I know you guys obviously are familiar with Isaac. So, um, but yeah, when he sets screens on you, you feel him. Um, he's a good guy. He's, he's been really, really competing well these uh, – whatever, first month, first few months that he's been here. And um, I, I really like, you know, what he's been doing. Thank you. Anyone else have anything for Sasha? I've got uh, one, if I can pipe in. Yep. Um, Sasha, you talked about offensive efficiency earlier, and Coach Painter has talked about decision-making with guards. Uh, what are you doing to try to make kind of better decisions and workouts and uh, – or so what, what does that kind of mean to you as a player? Yeah, um, yeah, just not making turnovers, just make, not making dumb mistakes, um, you know, taking care of the ball and um, just everything like that, you know, valuing, valuing our possessions and making sure that we get good shots every single time and not throwing it away. Anything else? Yeah, I got one. Make Go ahead. Hey, Sasha, what stands out to you with, with Ethan's game? Uh, I mean, obviously we've talked about it before, but he's a, I mean, really good passer. Um, I think he's really willing to learn and, um, you know, he, he's, a, he's a lot better of a, a shooter and scorer. Obviously, you know, he's a, a great playmaker, but he could really, he's been working on that jump shot really well. He's a good defender and uh, he's just all around. He's a, he's a good player, and uh, he's going to have a good impact for our team. Is that it? All right. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you.